Hello everyone, welcome back to Yale Tech Sound Engineering. And today we will have a very nice uh, tested carry out here. You see I have my multimeter uh, and some series of choke hard here. Uh, thank you so much for coming back. If this is your first time on this channel, do it to like this video, subscribe if you want to join this family. All we simply do on this channel is to teach you everything you need to get improved on your on your sound engineer, on your electronic journey, okay? So today we'll be looking at how to test choke. Now you with me have a very special type of easy resistor, so to say, but we'll call it concrete choke. We have different name in different area, okay? Uh what some people call it concrete choke, why some people call it ceramic choke, why some call it uh concrete resistor. You understand? Why in my side here will some people call it choke? You understand? So either we just know that it is a resistor just that you know due to the nature of the body it has like a concrete layer from like look at the normal resistor what it looks like now but look at its own see that they are quite different in terms of loop but they perform this frame function just that this one has more power for what in terms of what rating okay so without wasting much time let's dive in i'll have my multi meter with me in respect of the kind you have whether it's analog or digital no problem find your way around it just if you are using a digital sent it to continuity and see my multimeter is currently set to continuity right there and if you don't know how to go about that check those uh, check my channel my playlist i have a lot of video i've done on how to use a multimeter all right so once your multimeter is set to continuity if you use this probe to touch each other you must hear a sound okay let me adjust so you can see clearly now you will hear a sound that is to tell you that there is continuity right now okay so uh i just intentionally show you this so that you know the about resistor but this video we are not testing all uh, this type of resistor we we'll still do a special video on that we'll be looking at different type of resistor like it but let's look at it now i have a lot of them here i intentionally brought them out both good ones and bad ones so we'll test it together now uh let me show you this panel so you know the way this stuff really work because if you look at your normal resistor uh, the normal resistor, a few minutes please. If you look at the normal resistor, uh, like the one I have here, you see we use them in between all these various uh, in this panel, so to say. Because if you look at the panel I'm having with me, uh, this is a board for a 2000 watt amplifier, yes. Although, based on the kind of uh, transistor you combine with it, uh, the driver is A1941 and the rest, but don't let us go yet. What I'm just trying to show you is that this choke resistor you see here you can see the same type on this board here you understand so what it's trying to do is try to, is functioning as the fuse for this transistor so before this transistor will get damaged that light must definitely pass through this uh this choke so it's like the fuse for it you understand now so it has to resist it also like that of the normal resistor just that it's more better more stronger a bit based on the area we need here right let's dive in um now, once your multimeter is in continuity test, you are good to go. Once you get that sound or the reading, so you are good to go. Now, let's start testing all this choke we have here. And this is my first one. Mind you, there is no polarity on this. You can test either way. So, one of my probes is touching this. Let me adjust. Then the other one is touching this place. I believe you can see it. Now, do you hear any sound? No, that is to tell you that this choke is bad. You can see it, no sound at all. Let's turn it. Do you see any sound or any reading? No, nothing like that. Let's check another one. Let's look at this one. Let's check this. Can you hear the sound? You can see the sound, you can see the reading. Now let's invert it. Still the same thing. That is to tell you that this choke. This one is still very good. Why the other one is not good? Okay, let's look at another one here too. This is another one. Now let's touch the edge. Do you see any sign? No. Do you see any reading? No. Uh, you can see it. No sign at all, no reading. So this one is bad also. Let's look for another one we have here. Uh, and see no reading on this two no reading so this is bad also uh let's see this 
no readings that's it it's back let's look for another one let's look for this you can see it's giving sound and also reading so this one is a very good one but for this one let's check you see any reading nothing so it's bad uh, let me check this also nothing so this is not good too so so i intentionally brought a lot of jokes so that you can really see how to test them you'll be very very sure when you have a good one and a bad one so you see this one too not good so a good one is sweet it must give you readings and also you get sound but not top priority but you must hear it you can see it a sound and it's reading so it's a good one this is a good one uh, all those ones are the ones that are burnt but i just intentionally brought it out so i um, show you guys so that you can really see it and be able to identify when your choke is bad now let me bring out that panel this one we have here Let's not check if the joke on it is good or not. Now, one hand there, one hand there. Do you hear the sound now? You see it's sounding and it's working. It's reading now. So this one is good. Remember, it's not polarity sensitive. So, that's it now. So that is it. If this part is 40 alone, there will be no sound output from this board. Because uh, from my uh, transistor here, this is my in, this is my voltage in this is my heart so my output the two resistors connected together where they pass through here to this uh joke and from this joke is sending to this side to this inductor and coming to this side of it so if this joke really blew out there will be no sound output so indirectly once i read it and i see that there is no reading no sound nothing nothing if i replace this this part will be back to life Alright, if you find this video very, very helpful, do it to like and subscribe to this channel. See you in my next video. In one of my videos very soon, we'll be upgrading this board, you see, because this board is just a 200 to 300 watt board. Uh, but we'll be upgrading it where we'll put, like, we'll combine it with eight additional transistors, yes. So you'll be opportune to see how we'll do the power board connection, the transistor with the heat sink, the transformer connection, and the rest. So if that sounds like what you like, it why not subscribe to this one so you don't miss that video. All right. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Cheers.